obscene attack on human life on October the 7th will be remembered as a day of infamy forever. But as the shock of that day recedes, another more insidious and more threatening specter rears its ugly head once again, anti-Semitism. Why is it that, far from being a thing of the past, anti-Semitism continues to fester beneath the surface, ready to erupt whenever there's the slightest pretext? In early 1941, almost the entire Mir Yeshiva escaped from Vilna to Kobe in Japan and thence to Shanghai in China. One day, one of the Yeshiva Bochrim, one of the Torah students, was making his way through the market in Shanghai, and above the many voices speaking in Chinese, he heard a voice bellowing in a language he understood. It was coming from a radio in an upstairs apartment. The voice was screaming like an animal. It was saying, come, let us rid ourselves of this people who will not let us live in peace. And behind the voice there rose up in a rhythmic chant thousands of voices, Sieg Heil, Sieg Heil. The boy was shaken. He ran back to the yeshiva and he told Rav Chetzka Levenstein what he'd seen. Rav Levenstein said to him, this time he's telling the truth. This time he's telling the truth. The Jewish people will not let the world live in peace. Hermann Rauschning, in his book Gesprach mit Hitler, writes that Hitler said to him, the tablets of Mount Sinai have lost their validity. Conscience is a Jewish invention. Like circumcision, it mutilates man. Conscience comes from Sinai. The Torah mandated a revolution in human behavior education for all, the sanctity of human life, equality before the law, a vision of world peace where nations would beat their swords into plowshares, the moral imperative to care for the sick, the aged, the orphan, the widow, the Jewish people will not let the world live in peace. Our sages teach us that Mount Sinai or Sinai in Hebrew is connected to the word Sina, which means hatred. When the Torah descended to this world, it was accompanied by anti-Semitism. Catholic theologian Jacques Maritain wrote, Israel is to be found at the very heart of the world's structure, stimulating it, exasperating it, moving it, like an alien body, like an activating ferment injected into the mass, it gives the world no peace. As long as the world has not God, it stimulates the movement of history. It is the vocation of Israel that the world hates. <laughs> <laughs> 